What's up guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series here on the channel. This my friends is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. Now uh, Need for Speed is a franchise that needs no introduction. This has been one of my favorite racing franchises of all time dating back to the one that I really kind of started on was Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 on the GameCube. So it's been around for a while and uh, this remaster came out about a month and a half ago. We obviously had a ton of other games and things happening at that time so we didn't get the chance to play it but uh, I figured we could pick it up here and we'll see what happens. If you guys like it, if you want more of it, I'm down to make it a series. If we're just gonna revisit it for one video, we can do that as well, but I'm excited to check it out and uh, let's hop into it. Seacrest County has become the ultimate place to speed. A playground for the most exotic cars and drivers in the world. But this is not a lawless place. Constant competition has led to the creation of the world's <clears throat> fastest police force, Seacrest County Speed Enforcement. The SCPD spare no expense to redline it all the way and make you pay. Every day, new drivers still show up and attempt to tame Seacrest County and outrun the law. The pursuit for the ultimate drive starts here. Which side are you on? Gosh, dude, this is so sick. I'm, to be honest, I kind of miss racing games like this. Just casual arcade, just craziness, you know what I mean? So here we go. Grand Ocean Coast is going to be our first race, I guess. I'm... Like I said, I, I kind of started on Hot Pursuit 2, so I didn't play much Hot Pursuit. Um, not really Thinking sure what to expect, Roadsters but here Reborn we go. Race event is confirmed. In this showcase event, you will unleash the true potential of the Roadster as you compete against other drivers in a race along the Seacrest County coast. Use your driving skills to outmaneuver the opposition and take a medal. Your reputation is measured in wanted levels. Currently, you are not registering much activity and are classed by the SCPD as a level one speeder. The Gotta pump those numbers up. The races and outrun the law with style and are classified as level 20, most wanted. <laughs> Your daily activity is measured as bounty. The harder, faster, and more dangerously you drive, the more bounty you will earn. Easy enough. Win races, beat your rivals, and stay one step ahead of the cops to increase your wanted level and get access to new cars and entry into the toughest events. Your car is equipped with a race spec nitro system. Use this system to gain a rapid acceleration increase. Nitros will only charge if you drive dangerously. Drive in oncoming traffic lanes, near miss other vehicles, drift corners, and take shortcuts to gain the most nitros. Those shortcuts, baby. This race has restricted entry requirements. You can choose any of the available cars to drive in the race. Oh, well, looks like all I've got is this Boxster. And will become available as you increase your wanted level. All right. We've got a Boxster Spider here. Top speed of 166 miles an hour. It's a 2010 worth $61,000. The drop top. Going to let the wind blow through our hair. And let's see what color do we want to go with. I like the white. I feel like a red Porsche's. Pretty nice. Yellow. So I'm assuming this is going to be just kind of like a tutorial race or something like that. We've got 8.4 miles. Ooh. Chitty bang, baby. Goodness, I love them back in the day. But uh, yeah, I would assume they're not gonna not gonna drop us in the Porsche right off the bat, no questions asked. I guess it's kind of nice of them to do, but I think this might just be a tutorial. Get used to it, do our thing. So we've got uh, all kinds of stuff going on here. I'm sure it said we had nitrous, right? Yep, we've got nitrous. Took first there. We've got slipstreams. Obviously, we're gonna have to learn how to how to drift and. and Stuff like that. Not really sure what our e-brake is, but uh, we're gonna see what we can do. Let me go ahead and use our nitrous here on this straight. Gonna try to stay out in front of these guys. Looking like they're they're pretty tough so far, man. All right, I'm gonna get behind them. Let's do a little bit of drafting. Get some oncoming traffic. Be able to gain some of that nitrous back, dude. This is beautiful. Games like this, dude. I, 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 they're just always going to have a, a special place in my heart. Stuff like Need for Speed, I mean like the, the Midnight Clubs back in the day and stuff like that. Like, long before the, the crazy involved and, and complicated racing games of today, which are great, don't get me wrong. How do we, how do we break? I tried B, I don't know if that was correct or not. Um, obviously, you know, this was just all about you and your car doing a couple of upgrades and just trying to trying to work your way up the, the rung, which I guess is what today is too, but today you've got all kinds of extra stuff in it. This is a little bit more pure. This game is beautiful though. 
Not really sure what our e-brake is. I'm hitting B. I, it, it seems to be working. It, it could just be that when you crank the wheel really hard, you start to drift either way. I guess we'll find out at some point, but uh, here we go, baby. Got to drive as crazy as possible. Stay in the oncoming traffic. Do whatever you can. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think B is working. Maybe it's just going to be left trigger. It might just be left trigger. Let me, let me, oh, there's a shortcut right there. Missed that one. That's my bad. All right, so let me, I think it might just be left trigger. I, I don't think there's any e-brake. Okay, well, that would have been nice to know. Here we go. Come on. We're good. Shoot, missed the second shortcut. Are you kidding me? It's kind of getting a, a feel for, I mean, it, it feels pretty good that the steering is pretty accurate. It definitely is an arcade game and that it's got a lot of forgiveness to it. And it's a little bit floaty at times. So we just kind of got to get our uh, get our bearings under us here. Really want to learn how to how to properly hit these drifts. Ooh, see tapping it right there works pretty well for us. Ooh, all right, I like that. Still have all the the dirt shortcuts underneath here. Do we want to try this one? Let's get after it. Found a new shortcut, baby. Here we go. That was a pretty serious shortcut right there, I'm not going to lie. All right, let's get back out onto the road. Got about a mile left. Nice increase in our lead there. Beautiful work. Got to keep an eye on the minimap down the bottom left. Keep an eye out for those guys. But uh, I think we're going to be able to win this thing without any other shortcuts. Anyway, here we go. Smoke signals at the end, and uh, that's a solid win for our first race, baby. It's going to add to our bounty and everything, skills, personal best, top of the speed wall, that sort of thing. Beautiful. we got a new car here, new Mazda RX-8. Dude, I knew a, a kid in high school. His name was Jesse. He had a red one, stick shift. It was nice. That rotary engine, whew, sounds pretty good. We also got a Dodge Charger SRT-8. All right, shout out, Chell. She's got one of these, not the SRT-8, and it also just sits in the street and never gets driven. Actually, don't even think it starts right now, but uh, she's proud of it. All right, so we're going to move on. Looks like our next, we've got Eagle's Crest or... Uh, is this a police thing? Let's go to our next race first. But I, I'm pretty sure, and obviously Need for Speed's all about playing on both sides of the law here. So, going to be able to use our, uh, our rotary revolution here. Got it in blue and red. Black, silver, or we can do a custom paint job. Launched in 2003 and has sold over 160,000 units worldwide. 160,000. So won more than 50 global awards, including many Car of the Year awards in 2003 and 2004. This is With good a intel. Look and an improved performance. The latest RX-8 is still as stylish and fresh as it was when first launched. <laughs> the Mazda RX-8's most unique feature has to be its Renesis Rotary Engine Genesis engine, which generates an incredible 232 bhp from a comparatively small, naturally aspirated 1.3 liters. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and get it started here, but that's that's kind of interesting. We can learn some little facts and stuff as we do it. Man, it's, it's funny the game's showing its age because the RX-8 hasn't been in production for a very long time. I think they stopped like back around like 2010 maybe, 2008. I'm not sure. I have no idea. But here we go. First offense. Sounds like we might be dealing with some dirty cops in this one. So we'll see what we can do. Dude, this looks, it, it looks so good. We're playing on the Series X. Thought about getting it on, uh, on PC, but figured Series X might be a little bit more fun. Is this going to be a shortcut here? I'm going to go for it, dude. I'm going to go for it. Woo. Cops are calling us out. That's not good. Oh, I think they're set up right on the other side of this. Here we go. Listen to that rotary whine, baby. There he is. Ford Crown Vic. Coming after us. No chance you're going to catch me, bro. We're just going to try to hit as many shortcuts as possible. This is going to be leveling us up, doing our thing. Sometimes I feel like the shortcuts don't actually help you go any faster, though. See, like, we just took that, and we're, we're right back in it with these guys. I like the series. We got some, like, Pirates of the Caribbean music or something going on. Ooh, nearly hit that guy. We're good. Here we go. I feel like I'm in a crazy Disney movie or something right now. Definitely going to go through this. Cut off the apex of this corner. Get away from the cop. Oh, come on. <laughs> Who 
Who's gonna put that there, man? Come on. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess we're all right. It put us back into second place, but we're gonna be able to work with it. Got that Lancer Evo up there in front of us. Gotta be careful about those shortcuts. Ooh, he's getting... He's getting the work back there, huh? All right. Dude, we... Re I, I promise I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the braking down. The braking just doesn't... It, it, the braking and sliding. I don't know if there's a button. Actually, hold on. Let me, let me check. Instead of us just sitting here saying it, handbrake is X. That's what I was missing. Looks like we've also got some other camera angles here. Nothing inside the car, unfortunately, but here we go. All right, let's, let's try this here. Oh my goodness! That was a little bit more aggressive than I was expecting. So it, it kind of... Come on, baby. It kind of feels like we might want to use mainly what we were using. Just try to... Try to baby it a little bit more. Yeah. Alright. And then that handbrake is going to be more for like 90 degree turns when we just really want to, want to whip it hard. Like we could have evaded that fence back in that shortcut. See, like, this dirt shortcut up here, is this really a shortcut? Do we even want to take this? It's going to be harder for us to drive through. It's narrower. You're going through a cave. But I guess it does kind of shave off a little bit of time. That was nice there. Really, I think we want a shortcut anytime we can get it because we get, get the extra um, bonus to our, our rep. Shoot, should have taken that on the right, but I was going for the near miss on the left. Here we go. Beautiful work. Go ahead and use our nitrous here. And we should be able to take this all the way to the end. Get the near miss. That's what I'm talking about. Got some cops here at the end. Y'all aren't going to do nothing. Beautiful. First place. We'll take it. Two out of 20. Not too bad. Picked up a new car. Ooh, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10. All right. I see you. So we're just unlocking things as we go, and we got a Camaro SS performance. Nice. Blind spots in those things are horrendous. Let's go over to the big timber forest here, and uh, let's get after it. Let's see what happens. So now we're gonna be able to use our Evo 10. Is there anything else? Not available, not available. Okay. So we're gonna go with the Evo 10 here. Now I'm, I'm thinking let's, let's get a, a cool color here. I actually really like the orange. The blue looks nice. Phantom Black Pearl. Known as Evo to its friends, this is a high-performance sedan and the 10th official version to date. The Lancer Evolution saw success in the World Rally Championships with driver's titles from 1996 to 1999 and a Constructors' Championship win in 1998. One of the Lancer Evolution's most revolutionary technologies is the Super All-Wheel Control SAWC system, which indirectly directs engine torque to the outside or inside wheels as needed. Making use of all available traction, SAWC Gives the Lancer Evolution All right, let's go. My goodness. It's it's like, I would like, like you know, three sentences of some fun facts about it, but not like a whole book report on the car. But so uh, we've got kind of like a little burnt orange look happening here. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Title fight, baby. Seven mile race. Let's get after it. Let's see what we can do. I feel like the cutscenes in between races are not upgraded to current spec, like the, the remaster. But obviously the, the cars and the world and everything look absolutely fantastic. I, to be honest, I'm, I'm really surprised this game feels so good. I mean, obviously this is, this is a remaster, not a remake. So in terms of feel, it plays exactly like the original game is, did back in the day. Back in what, like 2008 or something like that? Maybe a little bit earlier than that. Taking a little shortcut here. But, uh, oh shoot, I think there was a shortcut within your shortcut, Trev. You missed it. That's all right, though. But, um, yeah, I mean, obviously it looks better, but it still plays the same. So that's, that's cool to see, you know, it feels so good when compared to, like, a, a game in the modern era. Kind of holds, holds up to it, you know what I mean? Shoot, see, like, these, I think this might have been one of the shortcuts. Like, we're out here on the beach. I'm not trying to be out on the beach, bro. It's not time to tan these cheeks. We gotta, we gotta get in the race, man. What are you doing out here? We're gonna end up neck and neck with this dude. Ooh. Still the lead. We're good to go. Still hanging in there. This is kind of a fun part of the map. 
Feels like we're up in the Pacific Northwest or something. Not really been paying attention to our uh, our surroundings that much. Ooh, this is going to be a massive shortcut coming up right here. Left right after the bridge. This is big time. Big, big, big time, dude. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Completely cut out that entire segment of the track. That's dirt. Oh, wait a second. It's longer than we thought. I'm going to assume we probably want to get out after that. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll take what we got when we got it. The one problem about games like this is they were all about the soundtracks back in the day, and that makes it that makes it hard to run on YouTube content nowadays. Dude, it's it's been so bad. The channel's been getting hit with so many demonetizations and, and strikes and stuff like that for music. I guess it's to be expected. It's just it's rough, dude. I get like probably 50 to 100 videos a day. It's crazy. A lot of it's like the old GTA and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how this game does. That's something like a, like I said, like the old Midnight Club games and stuff. I've thought about going back and doing those because there are a few of those that are still pretty solid. They hold up graphically and gameplay-wise. And um, then I think back to some of the soundtracks and stuff, dude. They were so, so crazy. I don't know if they'd, they'd work. We could try it. If we're having fun with the series, I'm going to get paid for it. Bam, look at that. Absolutely murked him. 258, beautiful. Got the gold. We'll take it. Let's see what we got here. BMW Z4. 35i. All right, not bad. $60,000. Future perfect, the BMW Roadster Reborn. Let's go East George Canyon. Ooh, this is going to be kind of a simple one. 4.2 miles, pretty much just kind of a drag race. We've got a couple of right-handed turns in the middle. Ooh! A Zonda Cinque Roadster on loan? What? Excuse me? Horatio Pagani and his team have once again created a piece of art able to speed over 350 kilometers per hour. Created in Pagani's Modernese studio, only five roadsters will be built complementing the existing five coupes. The 7.3 liter V12 Mercedes-Benz AMG engine howls like a wild beast when the throttle is opened. Dude, these things, I mean, like, they're fast. Yeah, they're a supercar, they're special, they're whatever. They're legitimately works of art on the road. Uh, if you guys have ever seen, like, walk through or review videos of Pagani's, like, watch, like, Doug DeMuro or something like that. Dude, this is so sick. Yeah, these things are just rolling pieces of art, man. This this is amazing. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. So I, I think, yeah, we're just going against the clock here. A minute and 22 seconds to go four miles. 82 seconds to go four miles. Are you kidding me? All right, I guess we are out here in the desert. It's nice and, and flat for the most part. Straight, can see. Oncoming traffic from a mile away, and here we go, dude. Could you imagine this feeling coming down that hill right there? In a convertible? 218, almost getting to the 220 club there. Not quite. Oop, 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 oop. Got a shortcut here. I would imagine shortcuts in this thing are probably not ideal, but this is Need for Speed. And hey, it got us around that, that one corner. We're pretty much straight all the way to the finish now, aren't we? I'm pretty sure. Get back over into our lane. Use a little bit of our nitrous. Let's try to stay in oncoming as much as we can. Get some near misses to get some more nitrous. We got 20 seconds to go 0.7 miles. Dude, we got, we got plenty of time. Honestly, just kind of want to want to play it a little bit safe here. There it is. Straight to the finish with seven seconds left to go. Look at that thing, dude. Uh-oh. Your car has been installed with the latest anti-pursuit technology, the spike strip. Based on SCPD technology, the system releases a lethal spiked strip from the rear of your car. If Not another vehicle idea. drives over the strip, they will be damaged and temporarily immobilized. Use the moment well and make your move. Your vehicle can only carry a limited number of strips and will take time to recharge after each use. So only fire when you are confirmed a hit. 
Your heads up display will let you know when the system is online. All right, so we're going to be using the spike strip as a uh, as a criminal, huh? Here we go. We've got our Charger SRT8 all all ready to go, all set up with it. I'm going to say let's uh, let's go with black. We're going to black this thing out. All right, so it looks like down on our D-pad is going to be our spike strip. It's loading up the first one right now. We've got a total of four to be able to use. Now, of course, we're going to be able to use these against the cops. Can we, can we use them against our opponents as well? Ooh, that was a, a shortcut. We probably could have taken right there. We're good. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right. I'm tempted to try it. Ooh, he just ran right into that civilian. <laughs> Didn't even think about it twice. All right, we got our full nitrous, so we're gonna go ahead and use this. Got a cop up here around the corner. Watch out for him. Ooh, he's got the the newer fourth. Kind of a a bad spot for that cutscene to start there, Chief. Here we go. Just gonna have to take the long way around, I guess. Dude, this thing is heavy. It doesn't have the best handling. That's for sure. Ooh, the the cops are the cops are using the shortcuts, huh? Okay, I see y'all. Here we go. Let me see if I can, uh... Got him! Spike strip pit! He almost crossed over in front in time. Oh shoot, got a roadblock. Level one. No worries, we're just gonna go right through that... Right through that sign. Beautiful. Got a new spike strip available. See, like, I'm... We're good. Be careful, Trip. We're fine. Not our not our smoothest segment through there, that's for sure. Try to drop a spike strip behind us. Looks like we got him. Another bad time for a, a what's it called though? Oh, it, I think it fixes you up. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna want to use our our. Oh my God, the e brake is so strong, bro. What the fudge? Well, one of one of our opponents was was completely immobilized right there. Why is the 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 e brake that strong? You instantly turn a basically a 180. Okay, got all kinds of stuff in here. Woo! -wee! Yeehaw, baby! All right, we're back out here in first place ish. Nope, just kidding. We're not. Here we go. Got another spike strip we're gonna have to worry about. Nicely done. Get right through that. Two point three miles left. Come on, Trev. All right, we need to do a little bit better here. This next shortcut's gonna be a big one. Try to save a little bit of nitrous. Don't waste all your speed here. We're good. We're gonna be fine. Oh my gosh, that could have been so bad right there. I mean, do we want to go through the mine? Dropped a spike strip behind us. I don't think that's going to hit anybody, though. That's okay. Here we go. Got to get through that guy. Okay. We're going to be fine. Another, another shortcut off to our right, but that's not really that much of a shortcut. I think we're just going to keep going this way. Finish line straight ahead. Do we? We nearly, nearly messed that one up there. It's starting to get a little bit harder. So far they've been really easy, but now it's starting to get a little bit harder. So I like that. Got ourselves a new car here. That Maserati Grand Cabrio. All right. Open air thrills. Got a lot of convertibles out here, huh? So I guess, uh, I mean, we're, we're almost up to a wanted level three. I'm going to say let's let's do a couple more. We've got Oakmont Valley here. This is a new part of the map we haven't been to. Looks like we've got a very interesting point-to-point -point loopy windy race. Going to be in the Carrera GT, huh? Oh, man. Originating from the pits of Le Mans after a 16th a overall piece, victory, Walker. the engineers went on to develop a concept to show what was technologically feasible. 1,270 handcrafted units were built because exclusivity occasionally needs a limit. Underpinning the Carrera GT is a self-supporting carbon fiber body, which can handle... Dude, these things are so beautiful. I genuinely think this is one of the most beautiful vehicles of all time. 100%. Just the lines, the curves, the, the edges, the everything. She's just... She's... She's a beaut. That's for sure. 
Looks like we've got a bit of a bit of a rainy day ahead of us here, a bit of a rainy evening per se, and uh, let's get after it. 221 to go six miles. So I already missed our first shortcut, but we're gonna be all right. Got another couple up here in front of us. Dude, the cars look so good. I mean, obviously that the world could look a little bit better when being compared to, to modern day games, like something like a Forza Horizon 4 or something like that, but the cars look great here. Pretty much doing part of what we just did, just backwards, going back to the train yard here, which is kind of nice, dude. This thing handles just insane. Look at this thing go. We are flying right now. Not, not put her into the wall though, Trev. Or the tree. Here we go. I just love that like when the, the tail lights kind of start getting a little bit longer and fading away and stuff. You just, that moment you hit that nitrous. Man, these old school, just crazy arcade style games are so cool. About halfway through the race and uh, I mean, about halfway through our time too. So we wanna make sure we're staying up here on top of it. Let's go back in through the tunnel here. Thankfully, due to the inclement weather, we don't have a whole lot of traffic out here to worry about. Just gonna keep on flying through here. Looks like we're gonna be able to go over the, the dam. Are we gonna wanna take the shortcut? Is that a good idea, Trev? I'm down. Your boy is always down. What is happening here? We're just on like the, the maintenance level of the dam, I guess, the working level. Alright, looks like we're going to be able to cross over into another little shortcut. Watch out for the construction materials. We've got about 20 seconds left for a half mile. Oh, oh, Trev, be careful. It's going to be close. I think we got it, but it was close. There it is. Three seconds to spare. <laughs> Look at that little instant stop and perfect, perfect trip. We'll take it. So there you guys have it. That's kind of an exciting start here. Feeling pretty good about it. We've leveled up to a suspect two, AKA level three overall. Wanted level's been increased. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you guys want this to be a full series, let me know. I mean, I, I definitely think we should at least do one more video, checking out the cop side of things. But uh, I'm also not against doing a whole series here like this. It's kind of fun. I enjoyed myself here. So got ourselves a 370Z and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.